Hey guys, so I'll be doing a first impression and review on some new products that I have. Um, I never really had a chance to actually open it up and do a legit first impression, but let's pretend like I'm doing that. So on the menu today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Cream Concealer Pots. She's got a whole bunch of these in different shades from like zero point something to like, I don't know, five, three, seven? Anastasia. Aha, uh -huh. 0.5 to 7.0. Um, the description that it comes with. They are a hydrating full coverage cream formula that glides over skin without caking. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealers to effortlessly camouflage dark under eye circles, mm -hmm. hyperpigmentation, and blemishes. In Australia, you can find these concealer pots, I believe, only at um, Sephora. These are cute little uh, concealer pots, uh, 10 grams worth of concealer inside. Uh, it's a gorgeous consistency, really, really um, pigmented and high coverage. So a little goes a long way and you'd actually need to use a brush to apply the product on your face. Let's hope you're putting it on your face. And also some sort of a beauty blender or something to actually buff out the concealer um, to give you that flawless finish. And if all else fails, just use your fingers to apply it where else need be. So I'm gonna swatch the two colors. This one is 0 0.75 and this one's 1 1.5. So as you can tell, that one is meant for more fair skin and that one's for medium. I'm currently wearing the concealers underneath my eyes. Cover those bags. I've worn it since about eight in the morning and it is currently 4.03 with my little face. So I've had a good eight hours of wear. It's freaking impeccable. No cracking. Bags all gone and highlighted on both. Yeah, so I'm looking pretty snatched. And honestly, I feel like I could wear it all day and night. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna clean off one side of the under eyes and reapply just so you can see the consistency of it. And yeah. My favorite wipes ever. Nutramedics makeup remover wipes. Um, they actually cleanse, so. I'm not a caker, so I don't like to apply too much. Delicious. Using concealer 1.5. I'm gonna dip it in there like so. Can you hear Dina? And apply like so. Just a little, you know. Using a beauty blender. I like to use my dry. It distributes the product and presses it into the skin quicker, in my opinion. I don't know. So we're just gonna blend. Oops. I always blend out my concealer using the Farsali 24 karat rose gold elixir. So just a few little dots under the eye. And then I like to actually go over it with translucent powder. Shake and bake. Like so. And don't forget the highlight. And I'm just gonna top it up with a bit of highlighter. And I'm just going to highlight. The consistency of the products are impeccable. If you blend it out, it doesn't blend and separate. You don't see granules. Um, on your face as you blend it and buff it out. A lot of concealers claim that they, um, you know, cover your bags instantly. But let's be real. You gotta cake and cake and cake and cake to hide any 10 month old little ninja daughter bags. Bye bags, bye bye. Um, I guess the only negative that I can give is if you apply the product and you don't buff it out sooner rather than later, it tends to set into the face. The solution to that is using a beauty oil to actually then apply and re-blend it out. Not leave these pots open because if you leave them open, they will dry the hell out. Oh, another negative. Well, for me, it's not really a negative, but it could potentially be a negative for anybody else is the fact that they're in pots and they're not in tubes uh, with brushes included. Oh, makes application a little bit harder because 
you're not forced to actually get an application brush. You could dip your beauty blender in there and apply. I've done that before, um, and in that case, I actually use the beauty blender wet, just so that I don't get a lot of product absorbed and stuck on the actual beauty blender. Well, ah, biggest negative. I guess it's not directly for this product, but when you're purchasing products online, that's actually me every night at 2.30 in the morning after I breastfeed my daughter and can't fall back asleep. Purchasing these colors on can be slightly risky. Pictures are extremely, extremely deceiving, especially the little boxes that indicate the color and the shade of the product. I think technology needs to up its game and figure out a way to color match everybody correctly. So I just recommend walking into the store, trying it out, sampling it and seeing how it is on your skin if it is the right color that you want. You can get away with being about 0.5 or 2 of a shade lighter. You can easily set your under eyes with a powder that's a little bit darker. That just evens things up, you know? When you're applying this product or any concealer underneath your eye, do not apply the product horizontally. What it does is it actually sits in the folds of your under eye, if you have any. Not me. Apply your concealer using vertical lines or dots on your face. Okay. They retail for $39 here at um, Sephora in Australia. So when you get onto the website, don't be fooled because it ain't $20 like it is in America. Yeah, I know it's expensive, but don't forget we are the number one most livable city in the world for what, six or seven years now? Hi, Tita. If I could rate it out of 10, I'd give it a nine. It's really easy to use. There's, oh! it glides on smoothly, almost like buttercream. Stop, she's not feeling well. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I know it was super short and quick, but I hope it was sweet and informative. Say bye-bye, Dina. Bye-bye.